Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to look at the dollar yen as we could expect prices to move back up into that 109 resistance zone. Reason being looking at that weekly time frame, we are bullish on this time frame. Let's just jump up to it. We are bullish on this time frame and what we were looking for was the market to come and retest these weekly lows and these weekly highs and the market has done that and rejected yesterday with a nice daily bounce. So we're expecting that momentum to continue. So I'm going to jump down to the hourly time frame and look at where we could possibly get in on a potential long opportunity. Now there's a couple of different options. First option is to wait for a nice break of the counter trend trend line through here and if the market closes above that look for a long position in there we've also got the fact that there is a slight um, support zone running down through here where the market found support resistance 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 in the past and if the market comes back down into this zone we could look for a long opportunity in there um, bringing in the averages um, let's just take the 200 off let's just bring in the 20 for a second it's not on my screen for some reason so i'll just bring that in just make that 20 quickly like so i've got a nice cross of the uh, moving averages there we're coming into that 50 moving average at the moment we could see a rejection and a long opportunity there so lots of opportunities going on here i like the fact that the market has been bullish overnight um sorry uh, bearish overnight because typically in the european session then it gets turned over um and the fact that we've closed back above this key high in here so you can see the the complete change in cyclicity going on here so looking for long opportunities first targets you want to be targeting the, the swing highs so up around about that 108.45, 108.40 just to be uh, safe. And then we're going to go for those 108.90s, that 109 area up into those highs in there. Okay, so I like dollar yen long. Another reason why we looked at CAD yen in the first place was because the market has broken into those highs. The daily chart has broken and retested the previous structure highs. So looking for CAD yen to move higher as well. So you could even look at long opportunities here on a shorter time frame. So that hourly you can see is starting to just reject these previous structure uh, the lows at the minute. So if the market can stay above those and close bullish, there's a potential long opportunity here as well. So look at your yen pairs. I see the yen getting a little bit weaker, um, especially against the dollar. Um, so watch those pairs and uh, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.